Start with North Korea's launch of yet another ballistic missile. This wasn't any old launch, though. The missile flew directly over Japan, a significant escalation showing North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's defiance of President Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Trump had said Kim was starting to respect the U.S., but he may have to rethink that assessment following what happened this morning. Let's get more information from our reporter at Seoul's Defense Ministry, Kim Hyun Bin. So Hyun Bin, this is a fluid situation and we are still awaiting reactions from the key players in the region. But what's the latest you're hearing? Well, as you mentioned, Mark, uh, North Korea fired what is believed to be an intermediate ballistic missile over Japan just over four hours ago. And South Korea Joint Chiefs of Staff says the missile was fired from Sunan uh, near Pyongyang at 5.57 uh, a.m. South Korea time. Uh, the JCS says the missile flew directly over the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido and fell into the North Pacific Ocean. The Pentagon also uh, confirmed the missile uh, that it flew over Japan's territory, adding that it's still assessing uh, the launch. Uh, the missile flew some 2,700 kilometers, reaching an altitude of 550 kilometers. And experts say the North probably fired a missile to demonstrate that it's capable of targeting the U.S. territory of Guam at any given moment. The distance between Pyongyang and Guam is some 3,000 kilometers away. At the height of U.S.-North Korea tensions earlier this month, North Korea threatened to launch four intermediate ballistic missiles into waters near Guam to show it's capable of targeting U.S. military bases on the island. And Japan, which sounded sirens in certain regions upon news of the launch, is deeply concerned by the escalation but made no effort to shoot down the missile. Now, Japan's Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshida Suga uh, described it as an unprecedented grave threat, and Prime Minister Shinzo Abe vowed to protect the Japanese public in the wake of this provocation. Now, this comes after the North launched three short-range ballistic missiles into the East Sea over the weekend. Now, we are expected to be briefed by military officials here shortly, so hopefully I'll have more updates for you during the next newscast at noon, Korea time. Back to you.